Hey everybody, it's Dawn and um, this is April 29th, 2019 and um, wow what a ride this weekend has been. <laughs> I'm gonna um, check in about that first and then I have a few things to share. Actually, um, before I share any of that though, let me just say that um, the Saturday between Good Friday and Easter, I recorded a video. It's led to, um, I wanted still to get to share my message for Easter, but for some reason, they want me to hold off on sharing that. So I will. Um, again, it was about the golden egg. Oops, I got tangled up in some, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of the woods trying to get away from that noise because uh, every time I try to record a video, it's going haywire, um, which is what I was about to say. So. Between um, Good Friday and Easter Sunday, I was guided to not share um, what I had initially intended to share on Easter yet again. I did my Easter message, was for some reason guided to do that super early in um, April. And then what happened was I was guided to um, record on the Saturday between um, Good Friday and Easter. I always read the Gospel of John. It's um, my favorite gospel and one that I feel holds uh, many truths. Um, the way the Gospel of John is structured, it's about the seven, um, the seven signs, um, and it's structured in a very literary way. In some, in some ways, compared at least to this, what's called the synoptic, the synoptic gospels, which are Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And so, every um, year on the Saturday between Good Friday and Easter, I read the Gospel of John. And so they asked me to record it um, aloud, and um, which I did. And the video was like just a string of me reading with a few comments um, in the middle. And it felt just like so amazing to do that um, and to share it this year um, for the first time. I think I've been doing it roughly 10 or 11 years now. And it, this is the first time I did something on the Gospel of John a few years ago. I may try to find that. So in any event, what happened was I recorded it. It was exactly one hour, 44 minutes and 44 seconds. Like no intro, like I just started, I said, hi, I'm sharing, it was led to this. And I read straight through and it was an hour, 44 minutes, 44 seconds. And got the, um, you know guidance to upload it right away which I did but it timed out so I uploaded tried to upload again on uh, later I think it was late Saturday night early Easter Sunday morning and <laughs> um, I, I now looking back I can see like oh there was a deliberate attempt to derail several things that were happening um, on a collective level um, and then personally for me, me uploading that video, and then there was one other thing that I was attempting to um, communicate that was of importance um, to um, another individual, and that also had like major interference. So um, I just, you know, did what I could, and the video, the, like the third time I tried to upload it, like it went totally berserko and it like ate the whole file. <laughs> I don't even know what happened, um, but the file is unfortunately um, uh, corrupted. And so I'm not able to upload that and share it. So I may do it again sometime because it was just truly beautiful. It always is for me. So read that yourself, um, Gospel of John. So this weekend, so today is my last day in the what has been my home for three years now and was my home also in 2013. So right after that, um, things kicked into high gear for me. I, you know, I've always been aware um, in terms of like what, in an odd way, in a way that I, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy, like I've always, you know, been the one trying to like tamper it down and stop my awareness and, and shut down my gifts um, for, for my entire, you know, teenage years and early 20s th into my 30s and, and even my 40s. Um, and I, that stopped for me around, um, well, it, the first time it stopped for me in 1999. Uh, and then it amped up through um, about 2004, 2005, and then I had a, some um, 
uh, events occur in terms of this journey and I went into a deep dive again, shut everything down until 2009. Um, and from then on, I've pretty much been on this, um, on this path, which rapidly accelerated around, for me, in 2011, uh, November of 2011. And then in um, 2012 was a really transformative year. In 2013, I moved here uh, and rented this place for a year. Um, and then back home where my ex-husband was living at our, our house. And uh, actually, we were still married at the time. And, and we've always been best friends. We've been married twice and divorced twice. And, um, and uh, the, the, he, he's um, in a wheelchair and the floor of the house caved in. And I chose to go back. Um, to the house. So I left this place I was renting for um, roughly a year, but it was all a blessing because it got me to Ireland and France and all that happened. And then I moved back here three years ago. And I've been here three years. And um, I decided in March, I just made a choice um, because I was on the fence um, in many ways about do, you know, do I stay or do I go? Um, and I feel, so today's my last day and I'm going to miss this so much. I'm going to miss, the, I, when I first moved here, I called these the still waters. It's a little noisy today because people are excited at spring and doing yard work and stuff. Um, but um, it's been such a gift here. And I may link at the end of this video to some of the videos I've made here. Most are on my main channel, um, Dawn Richardson. But so... So today's my last day here, and so it's significant for me. But this weekend, um, there was so much energy moving. Actually, really, since the Monday um, before Easter, um, right through now. And I think it's going to continue here. Um, and I, actually, I'm really feeling, I mean, like today, my energy is really good, um, which is, is amazing, um, because I'm telling you, this last... Um, this last uh, three days, four days, since really Thursday of last week. Wow, um, it's like I'm on a hyper warp speed roller coaster that's twisting around. It's one of those, you know, like the, the fun kind that, you know, goes sideways and upside down and everything. And um, so that's what it's been like. And I made some notes because I wanted to share energetically a little bit and then move into um, something I've been given to share with you. So. For me, this started with an intense series of dreams that included both, um, they were like off the charts in terms of symbolism, and I understood them much more clearly than I often do. Um, you know, there were a lot of animal totem kind of thing, and there was like a warning dream, and then there was another dream that was um, about a situation in my life that, you know, provided information. There was another dream about um, ancient... Um, it was more energetic in nature and, and uh, um, it was both about, um, it was about separation and division um, in terms of uh, large groups of people and then even energetic systems that weren't necessarily attached to groups but they were like floating out there and I was able to see it again I always I, I always say like I need an interpreter <laughs> I mean I don't know and also just FYI for the record um, you know a lot of times why some of my videos seem incomplete is like I'm really not a teacher um, I'm I'm a code carrier and like you know whatever I don't, I don't even know if that's the name for it but um, but I'm here to just like, you know, open up um, energetic pathways and mostly that have to do with the earth. Um, and then for myself, in terms of my life, my experience is, you know, the teaching that I have to offer. I am not very good at, um, it's funny because I actually am good at packaging content, other people's <laughs> content. And, and I do write my own stuff, as many of you know. Um, but that uh, it's just not my gift and so I know that some of my videos can sometimes be a little bit like too like all over the place um so I hope that there is some value there though and um and I trust that there is so third yeah the dreams have been just off the charts let me look at my notes here um oh yes um three kinds of dreams the warning dream the um a, a dr several dreams actually in the last week and a half two weeks about 
um, this preparation phase, um, not just for me personally, but for all of us collectively. And in terms of a new um, new way of relating to one another, set to from of relating from self to society and of groups relating to one another is really coming through super powerful right now. And then the, the third, um, the, I would say, energetic information that came to me um, in dream state um, right up to last night, which I'll get to in a minute, what happened last night, um, was this, um, this, uh, ooh, <laughs> like, well, I'm feeling it again right now in my body. Uh, it was this, um, um, preview um, of just the amazing um, energetic um, opportunity that is coming in terms of uh, really Pentecostal energy. And I don't mean Pentecostal the denomination, I mean the energy of the Pentecost. I made a video a couple years ago, I think, so I'll link to that at the end of this if I remember um, about the Pentecost. Um, that is the essentially in the Christian tradition after Easter there was this period of like you know all these things um, happened uh, which you can read about in the Gospels and in the book of Acts and then there was this event of the anointing of the Holy Spirit um, the Comforter which Jesus Yeshua promised to us was a given and it came down and there was this moment of you know all of the, the gifts of the Spirit being disseminated among the people um, and you know in, in the book of Acts that you know it's described as the speaking in tongues and and all of that and that that um, so in my dreams, I was shown sort of like a, um, a second Pentecost, um, if you will, now, um, you know, and this also came through um, for me, I believe it was two years ago, I'll have to go back and look, this, it was the same, uh, the same, um, I don't, it's not, not, not a vision, it's the same um, information was conveyed then, but this time it was even more potent and we were fuller more aware of what was happening and more open to receive and so it was really beautiful and I wanted to share that with you all um, okay so then I had Friday <laughs> Friday Friday which was um, wow yeah Friday was um, I have ink on me uh, Friday was a interesting day there were there was a lot of cat energy um, at play for me personally and a lot of like rapid cycling, al al alternating currencies, or alternating, what do you call that? And um, currents, yeah, alternating currents, um, that it was like wild swings for me personally, but also I could, I could see, like I kind of was zooming in and out, like I do sometimes, um, and it was like personal collective, personal collective. Like I said, it was like a roller coaster, and so, um, there was all these like healing energies coming in, but then there was like this tug, like a tug of war. That's how it felt, a tug of war. And it was like back and forth, back and forth. And so that was my Friday. Saturday, um, I woke up and I was actually, you know, like I was off dog sitting. So I was in a quiet place and I was, um, you know, determined to finish up this project related to the completion of that 33 year cycle that I talked about. Actually, the completion is in 2020 fall but um, I, like around the lion's gate or just just after perhaps um, and but what I was um, really and I'm sorry I know I'm moving this like crazy but what I was really um, feeling for myself was that this that this moving into this summer was the activation of that final you know year in that 33 year cycle so for me personally, um, I am finishing and I'm putting all of my um, poetry that relates to my journey to this point. So there are poems from the time I was 11 till I was 55. Well, I'm 54 now, so going into 55. It'll, um, and I decided to call it Testament. <laughs> I know a little bit sac sacrilegious, but not meant that way. It's my testament. It's my story. And so um, that um, is what I was working on. And my computer screen was open to a particular poem that is significant to me but it is one of 999 poems like you know like and this thing happened that threw me for yet another loop that has to do with this journey um and it w sent me into um an understanding that i was headed toward 
great stability, although I'm, I've literally sold everything I own um, and put everything else in boxes and they are stored at three different places. <laughs> um, so I'm, you know, I feel freer than ever. And, and ironically, I've been shown again and again that I'm moving toward a greater stability, but I at points have been feeling very unstable in terms of uh, like I have no information and but I feel also very guided and very and in the moment today I'm feeling like really awesome about this decision and so on Saturday when this thing happened and I can't go into the details here because it, it involves um, other people um, in ways that they're not aware of but in any case um, this uh, this series of information um, came to me that has to do with you know kind of I've, somebody I've mentioned before on this channel, which is my um, my greatest teacher in this life, who you know to me on my journey um, was very much um, mm, he had um, great um, insight and wisdom into the her the the. Oh, that was interesting. I almost said the hermit energy, the human energy, um, and the uh, what it's really about. And yet he was extremely connected to, you know, he was he was definitely in the three D world and extremely connected to um, the flow of life. And so I I went into like my I can't share the details, but I went into just sort of like a. Uh, like disoriented place and uh, deep dive, hopeless, beautiful, devastatingly beautiful. <laughs> this is like un off the charts, uncanny stuff um, that now had to do with not just one individual or two individuals, but three individuals. And so it was, um, it was like a really like ping ponging. And then I started to realize, so I, I often feel lost in these things when they're happening because it feels like overwhelming. And, and in this case, I could not talk to any of the three people. Um, and so I just, um, I just let it be. And it turned out that was a, a real gift because um, I worked through it and then last night, um, and. And Sunday, I, I was feeling much more grounded. I took, I went barefoot, and I went, I was outside all day, Sunday essentially, and yesterday, and then, um, and then today, my last day in this place, um, I went out to run some errands this morning, and it was like again unbelievable synchronicities. I went in three different stores. This has happened to me at various junctures this journey, but I went in three different stores and the same song that was playing the day that I moved here in 2013, the first time, um, I, I made a series of phone calls to um, three individuals who I doubt are watching, but if they were, they would know. Like in the background, as I was talking to them three different occasions, the same song was on the radio wherever I was or on the uh, sound system, and it was Coldplay's, um, oh gosh, what is the name of it? I'll put it below, whatever the name of that song is. And so this morning I walk in all these various, I had to go to the grocery store, I went and got my nails done, and then I went to um, uh, in the bank um, and all three places the same song was playing and so then I, I was in I was in Publix the grocery store and I had two gift cards that I had been um, using and I didn't know which one had the greater balance and so I had them check them and the lady's like oh twin cards and she looks and like the balance of one of them is a dollar eleven and the balance of the other one is six dollars and thirty three cents which is significant to me because it's my birth time I was born at six thirty three a.m. and I also write about um, an incident related to 633 and my birthday and you know um, my guides and on the other side and the, the uh, opening up of um, energy in 2014 for me and my journey um, and I write about that in Journey to the Heartland one of my books and so you know that happened and it was just uh and then the three songs happened um and what else i wrote down something else oh it's uh also so like uh recently like the last month or so many times i've been um uh given information about like um that's old song i think it's like paula abdul like um 
straight up now tell me um, blah 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 um, I can't remember. I can't remember the lyrics but it's like um, so today is um, April 29th 29 it's an 11 so 4 11 4 1 1 um, and also that was a, a, a short um, uh, uh, what is the word short not shortcut what's the darn word I can't remember it um it was like a little a little communication between me and the individual who is now on the other side my greatest teacher in this fight that I mentioned um, there's a lot more that I could say there but if I start talking about that um, I'm, I'm just I'm still processing so much so that happened this morning but let me back up and say that last night when I got back home to my place for the last day here um, I I've been sleeping out on, on the screened in porch which I love and I'm gonna miss so much um, someday I'm gonna have a house with a screened in porch and that's gonna be where I sleep and um, I'm gonna miss it so much and last night I, I laid down to go to sleep and I was just, I was just praying and about um, various situations and asking God to be with people who have important things going on today three people in particular in my life not the same three people that well one of them is but um and and then also of course praying for um as I always do um you know for my beloved um and also for the um, me in terms of my release of all of all of what's next um, because I've been shown again and again that there is a greater receiving that will happen and it may not look like what I thought and it but it could be a lot better <laughs> and so get ready Dawn um, okay so last night um, well, actually, this preceded on my drive home last night. Um, the my greatest mentor and teacher um, was, you know, speaking to me about this thing that had happened Saturday that threw me for the loop, that led me to this kind of deep dive depression. I haven't been that depressed in oh my god, I, I don't know, like maybe I mean, like probably, like probably going way back to the the 90s um, and I, it came just hard and fast and it was uh, a little scary but I knew that I'd, I'd be okay and, and once I got grounded again um, I was and am and so um, I was you know, like what what are you trying to say to me because it you know this latest thing was connected to a bunch of things that have happened in the last year and a half year last year yeah one year um, and so I was like, what are you trying to say to me? And there was just like a real open channel of communication with, with him and also with Yeshua and with um, just like whatever team is up there for me in, in here. It's like, I always say up there, but it's not really up there, right? It's, it's here, it's, it's here. And I'm, uh, I was feeling so connected with the earth, which always helps me with nature. And um, I just felt such a seamless um, flow of information coming in from him. And I just heard like, you did good. You did good, girl. It's how, what kind of how he would have said it. And I was like, well, what did I, what was it, some kind of test? I was like, did I pass? <laughs> we, we used to joke a lot. And so, you know, he died back in, in 1999. And, and so he was like, yeah. He goes, but which part? <laughs> which part do you mean and I'm like what do you mean which part were there more than one parts and he was like yeah and then I got this information and he was like well um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten what was said to me but you know essentially it was yeah part one which had to do with um, not getting hooked into a pattern of um, uh, caretaking codependency directly and not allowing um, my energy to be used in that way he goes a plus <laughs> a plus you got it um, and I was like yeah I was like well what's the other part um, and he was like <laughs> this was like hilarious because um, it was it's something that historically I, I really do I'm challenged with which is essentially around the idea of non-attachment um, and holding that energy I do okay with it initially but then I'm like you know it's a like whiplash for, for me because I, I tend to um, often um, feel like a little bit crazy out of control when I 
um, feel like I'm having to be non-attached to everything, which of course is the point. <laughs> but i and I know this intellectually and even in my heart, I know this and it's been, um, it's been a real joy this time letting go of all the things, the belongings, um, which I I feel like I've done much better with that part of non-attachment than the people um, and situations involving people. And, um, and he goes like, don't worry, you passed right in the middle of the pack. He goes, there's room for improvement though. And, and I understood suddenly, okay, so the point here is I understood suddenly how this entire thing that's been going on um, for the last year with me was a gift for me. And I haven't seen that at all because the, the other person and, and a couple people involved in, in parts of it uh, have no idea what my side of this has been like. And, or if they do, they only know uh, telepathically or in their hearts. And it's frustrating to me um, because it feels, uh, okay, so at times it'll feel, I'll be just be honest, at times it feels unfair. Other times it feels um, like a great burden to bear. Other times it feels like um, I can, you know, get kind of carried away with feeling like, oh, I'm in my own little world and I don't, like as if I'm not, I'm in this world, but not of it, which is true, of course, for all of us. That's the goal. But at the same time, you know, there there's a way that we can separate ourselves out, you know. And, and so I often walk that, you know, that line. And, um, and so what I was seeing so clearly was that it's all, it's like been a balancing act. Like, a, like think of a person walking. And it's so interesting because... Yesterday, I mean Sunday, when I was outside, there was a, the place I was had these um, beams built in, like landscaping beams. And so I was like, um, I, I have no balance whatsoever. <laughs> but I was like, I'm balancing on these little balancing beams, you know, that were low to the ground. Like if I fell, it was like, isn't it all six inches or maybe like four feet or something, you know. So I was just having fun. I was barefoot. And, um, and I was like, I suddenly got it. It was like, oh my gosh, this whole thing, these, these you know, quote, tests, which it's, you know, I don't like that word and it wasn't really a test test, but it was like an opportunity to gain greater balance. And I suddenly saw for myself and for many other people um, that I'm connected with, both who are on um, this journey and those who are not, that this is what's been happening really since the um, eclipse August of 2017, but in particular this last year. And so here we are um, in, in May, headed into the summer months, which are going to really pick up energetically. Um, and so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share all of that. Let me see what else is on, on my notes. Forgive me while I'm looking down for a sec. If I, this is what my notes look like. They're <laughs> very scribbly today. So, um, yeah, like Saturday, Sunday, I talked about that. Um, I think that's, I think that's uh, most of what I wanted to say. I wanted to share my personal experience. Um, and I'm, uh, this was just an experience, um, personal experience catch up video. Um, I have, um, um, I'm, I'm seeing now why I skipped. I skipped what happened uh, last night. I was awake um, probably about seven hours last night, like so I slept maybe three or four hours, which is part of why I'm speaking so quickly. <laughs> I, had to have, I had to have coffee this morning, so but I'm in a great place. And um, so what happened last night was highly significant. Uh, first, I thought it was just personal, um, but let me just share this short part in case I don't come back with a second video, which is that uh, it was not just personal. It was definitely. Um, collective and had to do with I think I'm not exactly sure but it's definitely Native American um, energies and and somehow again related to this whole serious thing um, serious the, the you know star system three star system video that I made um, and oh my gosh there were like three satellites in the sky and first I was like okay this is a little bit strange there aren't usually three satellites in the sky at 1 a.m. because I've been awake at 1 a.m. and there's not and I was out on the um, screened in porch as I, I said sleeping and I um, I was you know like I said I was praying for s several situations and I felt such the presence of Jesus and the um, awareness of 
uh, some stories that I probably will share on a, f a future video and this like again this ancient wisdom that seemed to me to be Native American uh, one of the Western tribes I'm not sure if it was Anasazi I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or Hopi but it was definitely one of those that goes way like as ancient roots and there were some specific things um, that came through that I will perhaps share later and and perhaps not um, but it was also given this um, um, this like heart thing to do um, unusual for me I don't know if this is like a new gift kind of thing or healing it's definitely well it definitely had to do with um, healing and uh, opening up a greater space so it's all about opening up a greater space in your life right now whatever that means for you whatever that looks like for you um, for me I know this is definitely about home and stability although it looks like like as of tomorrow morning I'm homeless and like I said I have no you know relatively few belongings um, and I miss back down to my backpack and my two suitcases and me and uh, I kind of have a plan <laughs> like I have a backup plan which is going to be the plan uh, as you know as it unfolds for m the majority of the summer um, but we will see so um, lots of love to each of you and I'm just so grateful to be here I am so grateful for the opportunity to have lived here um, and for all that happened here beside the still waters and I am um, just want to uh, leave you here on this last day um, of me um, being um, in this this beautiful space to say that um, it's been such an honor and privilege to share this journey with all of you and in many ways I feel like as I leave this this place it's so beautiful and you know is it's hard to do on the one hand I feel like I'm also leaving the journey as it has been to now which is why I was editing that collection of poems and I will put the link below when that's finished um, because it's uh, whatever's coming next and it's coming fairly um, soon in terms of my own personal journey me me and my life that is um, that it's new it's new and I believe it's new for you too and so allow the newness allow the unknowing allow the release of all that has um, felt like your stability to this point all that has felt like um, something that you know the one sure thing um, or the one beautiful thing and allow for that to be renewed and reinvigorated um, with um, an infusion of the spirit of love and the law of love that we together are bringing in just as we um, as we really really allow ourselves to receive in full so lots of love and I will see you soon. Hey, just a PS to say that it is possible that I will take a break um, from the channel. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be back and I can't wait to see how it all turns out for all of us. Much love.